Hey everyone, welcome along. It's episode number 18 now of The Journeyman. I'm Tony, hope you're well. As you know, if you watched the previous episode, we are no longer in Belarus. We have left Arsenal Zhezhinsk and we've left them in a good position, so I feel all right about it, to be honest. We've left them and we're now in Turkish League One in charge of Bursa Spor. Now, of course, uh, as you saw in the previous episode, the expectations of Bursa Spor are to finish in the playoffs. Hopefully we can do better than that. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, and I'm quite excited, to be honest. I'm very, very excited for this challenge. I hope it's going to be a good move. I feel as though it's going to be a good move. So if you're new to this series and to the channel, get yourself subscribed. Hit those notifications on as well, because this should be a lot of fun. Of course, if you've already been with us, thank you so much for your continued support. Um, what I've found so far is that the press don't seem to like me. Um, that's all I've got so far. Uh, I, they were very, very cagey with me when I did the first Meet the Press um, press conference. We've now got uh, Meet the Press for my first match. Um, and as you can see, it's starting off, and there's already, there's already a pessimistic mood in the uh, in the press conference. And I've got a bit of sort of, I'm going to have to win them over. Now, I don't know whether this is... Um, part and parcel of, of managing in different countries I've, I've i don't know to be honest they, they, i remember when i was in belarus they didn't seem too fussed with me being there so i don't know why the press have got their back up uh about me already but you know i guess i've got to try and win them over that's completely fine i've also got the players to win over and of course the fans and um possibly even some of you guys who uh, you know wanted me to stay at belarus and uh and try and and sort of do a bit more there but Personally, I felt as though, you know, three seasons there was probably enough. I figured this was a great opportunity to come and do something a little bit different. Get the narrative of the journeyman story uh, rolling on. As you can see, we've done some business uh, since the last episode. We brought some young players in. I think this guy looks pretty decent, to be honest. Uh, Salim Arik um, could be quite handy out on the wing, maybe. Um, who's this guy? This is Essa uh, Uratia. Again, a youngster. He's come... Um, he, he might do all right, maybe. Um, we might sort of do some work with him. Uh, Isaac Twum is 100% going to be a player that we're going to use um, in the side. He looks like he's a midfielder, but I'm probably going to play him at right back, I reckon, because the right backs that we saw uh, on the previous episode, um, unfortunately, have gone back. Uh, one of the, the best ones on loan. Uh, this is uh, Erkan Sewer. We've got him on loan from Galatasaray. I'm very excited about him. He looks like a really, really good player. Got some really, really good uh, stats there. And um, we are paying a loan fee for him, but you know it's one of those things we uh, had to do that. Um, uh, Diara has come in from Alte. We've clicked on Alte there. I actually, um, they're they're a bit of a rival of us, and they aren't particularly friendly with us at the minute. And we've we've got Diara. In, um, I actually had an interview, I think. Did I have an interview? No, I, I, they, were, they were they were someone I was looking at, possibly. And this guy, however, very, very excited about him. Anis from uh, Monaco, 20-year-old striker. He looks like he could be the business for us. So we're very, very excited about that. We'll talk about Alte um, as we go further on. And this is uh, Uragan Yagzili, who again looks like he could be quite good in that midfield. He's a, a really, really good uh, ball-winning midfielder, possibly anchor man. Um, and me a bit more defensive steel because we said in the previous episode we're lacking a little bit of oomph uh, and a little bit of bite and a little bit of sort of aggression in there. So uh, unfortunately, uh, as we again we alluded to in the last episode, uh, Ayan Kosher has left. Uh, he's of course gone, uh, which means we've lost. We're going to get a million pounds for him, but we might get up to 1.5 million. And there's a sell on as well. That's the sort of business we're going to have to do in this save. Um, and if players go, that's fine. Uh, but we need to obviously make sure we've got sell-on fees for them as well because we need to start generating some money, restore the, um, the, the the financial damage that are at the club. And, of course, the remit is bring them through the new system and sell them on for a profit. So that's what we're going to do. And um, Some of the players, of course, we've got out on loan are our youngsters. There's some decent players in here. I think the youth system is pretty good. I think that we're going to get a few players actually making their first team debuts. I mean, he looks... Pretty decent to be honest, doesn't he? Um, you know, fortunately, we, we you know we lost him. Uh, he's been sold, but hey ho, it's one of those things. Um, Arslan is 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 in there. He's out on loan. That's fine. Um, but yeah, we've got quite a large squad, and we will be 
juggling and balancing as we go. Um, Ali uh, Karnapoglu, again, another right back, unfortunately, has been sold, but that's fine because we've, we've brought Twum in, uh, he, who I think is probably going to be, as I say, more of a right back than a midfielder, but I like his versatility, so um, it should give us a few options uh, as the season goes because I'm guessing guessing we're going to be in for a long season um again another youngster we've had to sell sadly uh birkin uh atasaya has gone he's been sold for um 1.1 million raising up to 1.6 million so again more money in the bank coming in uh in sort of installments and then of course there's a sell-on fee as well so that should help us for maybe next season maybe the season after um but yeah that's what we're what we we're sort of budgeting for now is selling players on with those percentages to to keep the cash flow coming in. Um, Kemil Arts again looks like he might be okay. Seventeen years old, uh, he's out on loan. And then uh, Kerim Cock has unfortunately gone to uh, Fatty uh, Karim Karamuruk. Um, I'm really really struggling with the pronunciations of, of this, uh, these teams in this league, and I'm sorry for butchering that. And of course, the players, well, I'll be butchering those players' names also. Um, we've picked a tactic, this is what we're going to go with from the start. Um, it will change, of course, but I think that this is going to work for now. Uh, 4 2 3 1 vertical tiki taka. We're going to play a sort of fairly short passing at quite high tempo. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe a bit of a high line, uh, and just try and sort of play as, as, as just sort of play with a bit of a bit of pace and a bit of passion. That's what I want uh, as we go into this first game uh, against Eskisarispo, which may or may not be the pronunciation. But hey ho, let's see how we get on. So this is the team sheet for the first match in charge at Bursaspor. At a Birkin goal, uh, Mohamed Diara, uh, Ur Urgan uh, Yagilzi, y Yazgili, uh, Yusuf Arslan, Isaac Twum, Senol Tezkan, Ozan Cook, uh, Meli Okatan, Burtank, Burkan Turkey Ilieri, uh, Urkan Sua, and Anis. I'm not abs uh, as bad that Anis uh, is the striker. I'm just going to have to change these all the nicknames, aren't I? Um, but hey. It's going to be fine. I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident we're going to do well. And I'm going to learn the players' names. And it's going to be amazing. We're all going to have a lot of fun. Um, so uh, if you want to comment below any phonetic uh, descriptions of how I might be able to pronounce these names, that would be amazing. Uh, if not, um, again, I've, I've said sorry a few times. So uh, it doesn't really matter now. So this is a bit of presentation we've got now because obviously we're um, in Turkish League Division 1, which is slightly more. Uh, there's a bit more money, I think, floating around in Turkish League 1 than there is in the Belarusian highest league. Look at this. A stadium. A stadium with fans in and everything. Like We didn't have that at Arsenal, uh, Zerzhinsk. So this is a bit of a novel, a novelty for me. So um, I don't know how I'm going to feel, actually, to be honest. Uh, I think our record attendance last year was like 400. And this is a stadium that holds forty three thousand. So, ooh, it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting, isn't it? Um, it's it's definitely a step up from from uh, from Belarus. I know we're in a division in a, in a, a division sort of reputation lower, but um, but yeah, this is this is the big time. I think now here's Ozan cuts it back, and it's Anes, and he scored. He scored on his debut fourteen minutes in. For the Frenchman, he's already got himself a goal. That's what we want there. Um, pouncing on a bit of a mistake there as well. And this actually gets himself in there. Then it's Ozan who plays the ball and defender. Um, sort of slide and tackle and, and knocks it into Anis's path. And then he takes the shot. And it's terrible goalkeeping. Uh, keeper spills the ball sort of underneath him. He almost sort of dives over the top of it. Um, but hey, it doesn't matter how that happens. We, the big thing is, is that he's scored his goal and we've taken the lead and that is what we want so uh 14 minutes into my uh tenure at bursa sport we've taken the lead and one of my signings has already got himself on the score sheet that's what we want um that's basically justified the move already um <laughs> i know it's suggesting that we justify the move after one goal but um yeah it's early doors it's a good goal um and i'm very very happy with that so hopefully we can do uh, oh, that's great save, great save uh, there by Atterberg. 
really they should have scored that to be honest but it should have been 1-1 so i'm very very happy that we are still in the game um we need to start pushing on a bit i think uh, a lot of possession a lot of 63 percent that's we're seeing a lot of the ball here um nine attempts on goal as well here's anis now plays the ball in he's got the ball back as you know he's not it's cleared out now to diara what's diara going to do lovely ball in there to melly uh, now it's twum twum pings it in and it's it. it's <laughs> yes two nil senol tejkan with the goal that's two nil now and that's a lovely goal to be honest look at that nice i mean look how much space twum's got on the wing pulls it back and senol lovely little finish at the back post just you know side foots it past the goalkeeper really really nice really nice indeed so 2-0 as we go into half time very happy indeed with that first 45 minutes in charge and uh, xg of one bang on one um and again heat map wise we're looking pretty decent to be honest i think the ball's kind of where we expect it to be i think the performance level's pretty good and um, 10 chances um four for the opposition not too bad um five on target so yeah like every other shot's on target can't complain really i guess that's kind of what we want we want to turn up first game get a result play well get three points that's the main thing and at the minute that's exactly what the side are doing well intercepted there by sewer who goes charging forward plays it in for anis and it's just over the top oh i like that i like the fact that Erkan uh sewer just burst in there and broke up the midfield player that's that's a really really nice uh sort of thing to look out for hopefully that's the sort of mentality we're gonna get from these players because obviously he's in on loan as well so we want to sort of have him prove a point and you know who knows what happens going forward maybe maybe he might be here next season who knows don't want to get too ahead of ourselves just yet but in terms of picking up a highlight from his first match um I'm very happy with that to be honest. Very, very happy indeed. So here's Diara now from the back. Uh, Burkhand out to Metinchan. Inside to Buland. Back out to Metinchan. Buland. What's he going to do? Just slow, methodical. That's why I like just, you know, keeping the ball. No major concerns. Just, you know, wait for the opening. Um, here's Anis. <laughs> he's warmed the keeper's hands there and he that's a great save to be honest gives us a corner um pull the short corner out now here's senol is he gonna get it back no it's twum twum's gonna get it he's hit it and it's come off the defender and in fact we might be oh nicely played nicely a bullet getting back there i thought we were going to be a little bit susceptible to the counter attack but bullet got straight back tidied that one up and uh and cut out the danger quickly so um yeah i think defensively i'm i'm liking what i'm seeing here i'm liking the fact that the press is working um you know we're, we're forcing both interceptions and turnovers and you know that that tracking back i know it's again we're judging on one highlight again another interception there up to anis what's he gonna do he's hit the side net and he's got to do slightly better than that hasn't he um but but yeah that's i'm, I'm impressed even just from a couple of uh, a couple of highlights, as I say, it it certainly gives me confidence that there's something in this team, you know, um, and that's all you need from from your early few games. You want to see the players giving it giving it some, you know. There's there's you know there's there's positions to be earned here, like you know, no one's guaranteed a starting spot at the minute because I don't know the team enough. Oh, that's a <sighs> Kerem Bakius nice nice goal nice goal um keeper maybe needs to start thinking about what he's gonna do um he's got a point to prove here fat oh, that's poor in it that is quite poor i don't know who's to blame there defenders could have maybe tidied maybe tightened them up but again keepers gotta do better keepers gotta do better um we've had 20 shots 20 shots 10 on target 1.96 xg 61 percent possession we're doing all right we're doing fine here eight shots conceded 
22 now. XG of 2.26. All right, okay. This is pretty good. Again, intercepted, sent all, bullant. All the way up now to Anis. Anis has got loads of space to run. He's got no one else in front of him, though. Is he going to go alone? He is, and the keeper's made a save. Um, but that's, again, another sign of intent from uh, Anis. He's really he's really looking pretty good, isn't he, for, um, for his debut. And uh, he, came, he came as a bit of a surprise, to be honest. I wasn't quite expecting. Here he is again on the ball. Just turns and drives at the defender. He's not as afraid to run, is he? He's cut back inside. That's an amazing goal. That is an amazing goal. Oh, we have got a player here, everybody. I think this guy is going to have a great season. Look at this. Picks the ball up on the halfway line and he just goes. So much pace. Comes back inside. Beats the goalkeeper. 3-1. Three points in the bag. Two goals for Anis on his debut. And I can't ask for more than that. I literally can't ask for more than that. 25 shots we've had so far and I say so far because we're still going forward there's potentially got another one here Senol what's he going to do it's, it's been brought down it's a penalty it's a penalty oh, oh, oh. Anis for his hat trick come on 94 minutes Fair enough, he's missed it. Oh, it's all right. We should really have potentially given it to somebody else, but never mind. 3 1 eh? I'll take that. I will take that for the first match of my career at Bursa Sport. Yeah, that's a really, really good performance. I don't know where my opposition fit in the grand scheme of things in the league, but look, we got to beat whatever's put in front of us, and 25 shots says we did all right, to be honest. So. Very, very happy with that. Very happy indeed. Um, are the press going to start giving me a bit of respect? Probably not, you know. But hey, it's fine. And um, oh, there you go. I know the rest of the league's not really played a game, but hey, one game, one win, top before everyone else has played. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have enjoyed that, do give the video a like. Uh, we will, of course, be back with some more uh, league games. We'll play some more league games off camera. Then, of course, we'll come back and we'll get a bit more of a sort of feel for how the side's settling down. Um, do drop some comments below. Uh, things you like about the side, things you maybe don't like about the side. You know, what do you reckon about Anis? Do you reckon he's going to be decent? Do you reckon we've got uh, the right formation? Do you think uh, the style of play suits us? Um, of course, do also join the Discord as well. Of course, the link is in the description below. Um, as I say, we'll be back very, very soon with another video. Uh, and of course, we will hopefully uh, continue to enjoy life in Turkey with another episode of The Journeyman.